Hey, welcome back to Quick Flips with the Casual Hour. This is Bobby and Chase. We're going to be playing Clap Hands Golf on Apple Arcade. Chase, I know you're excited. You're an Apple Arcade enthusiast these days. You're clapping your hands. That was that your? But, but like, was that a, it was a golf clap? Was that a? It was a golf was it a clap, hand or a hands clap? I think that was a hands clap, not a hands clap. Chase, have you played? Like, we ha you've played everybody's golf. We played that together. Have you played any of the Everybody's other played everybody's golf. Everybody's played everybody's uh, golf. Yeah. Uh, so, they're the same makers who made everybody's nice. golf made the Hot Shots game before. I never played Hot Shots, but I did enjoy everybody's golf quite a bit. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good time, I think. Let me see. And they made this? Is what the, you're the, getting to? This is them. Clap Hands, I believe, is the actual okay. name of their studio. Okay. And I, I can see like in the art style how this evolved from something like Hot Shots. Yeah, so I'm showing you our team here, Chase, and this is a team based golfing game. What uh, the hell does that mean? Well, great question. Um I don't know if I fully understand it yet, but what appears to be the case is whenever you go into an actual match, you have to pick a handful of people ranging from three to six. And each one of these team members has different attributes or skills, which I thought would show if I clicked on it. Um, anyway, when you have your team and you're going into these matches, it's going to give you a rundown based off of, hey, this part like Noel here is going to be really great at uh, applying a backspin. So if you want somebody with a bit more finesse uh, approaching greens, she's the, the, the right woman for you. Um, okay. Over, let's see if I can. So I'm playing this on an iPad with a controller. I haven't done a whole lot of menu navigating uh, with a controller, so just bear with me as I'm, I'm getting through that. You can see sure. the different emotes that they have. Uh, those are the same for, not the same, but there's just three areas that you can see them apply. And then they have they have three different kinds of emotes, and then everybody has like their own version of that. Yes. Is that what you're okay. um, I have not unlocked the costume, which is this hanger but we have unlocked sure. a different color palette so far. Ah, and so okay. every character has those, and those are types of events that we'll get into here in a second. Let me see if the question would show us here. That's not showing me yet. Let me go back. I think it's this one. There it is. So everybody has a favorite club and a strength. And as you upgrade your character, it applies to those three attributes, which is going to be power, control, <laughs> You know how dumb I am? How dumb? I uh, go go back, go back for a second. Yeah. Go back, yeah. Uh, I'm like, what? What the hell is a 61 club? I've never heard of that. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's a six iron. <laughs> you dumbass! God damn it! <laughs> um. So as we go wow. through our characters, you can see where they're they're gonna be uh, shining. It also gives you a character use rate, so you can see who you. Let's go through all. Let's go through all these characters. I want to. Oh, I want to see these people. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's. Got it. Uh, all right. Start. Start at the left. Yep. All the way to the left, and let's let's go. Okay. So you got. Uh, this you, is the kid. You start. No, no, no. Let's, no, no, no. Yeah. Let's say. Uh, so this is the kid uh, with the top one percent of Rattata. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Next. Next. Uh, this is the uh, the daughter from the uh, Incredibles. She's invisible. Yes. No. Totally. You got it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and that's the son of the Incredibles. Once he grows up a little bit uh, and decides he still wants to be a hero, but on his own. His costume is really strange. Let me show you what he normally looks like. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. He's just a dork then. Yes. And now he's a dork going to his comic book convention. Yes. All right, that makes sense. For so, uh, yeah. Who's who's this pigtail little girl? Um, oh, she's you know what? She's the Wreck It Ralph girl. She's the the oh, one yeah. who uh, was played by um, Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, this guy knows how to score some weed. Yes, he does. Oh, he, oh, he <laughs> definitely knows how to score some weed now. That man is high right now. Uh, this is this is the well. There she looks okay, but like this is, oh, what is her name from Metal Gear Solid Three? Who is like a spy? She double crosses you. Whisper. Uh, no, no, that's that's five. That's okay. five. We're not. We're but also 
but also her. Yes. Uh, but no, specifically the one from three who drives a motorcycle and, and wears uh, an outfit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is what she normally looks like when you meet her. Yeah. And they're like, here's yeah, her costume. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh, this is Hermione Granger, obviously. She, yes, or, or adult Disney fan. Um, <laughs> uh, both can be true. <laughs> uh, this is Bobby. This is me. Moving in, on. In like 10 years. This is Johnny. Uh, oh, this is <laughs> Bobby and Johnny. Uh, I was going to say, Bobby, if like you really let yourself go in the next 10 years, like it depends. Johnny. You like to go one way or the other. This is Johnny cosplaying as his pug. <laughs> okay, oh, you know what? Good call. Good call. Uh, and then that's the uh, that's the the woman from Recess. Yes. Uh, this her, is no. This name? is the woman from Monster Seat. Mike Wazowski. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. You know what? You're right. That's a better. That's a better one. You did it. So that's our characters. That's the quick look. Thank you for tuning into the that's casual a, yeah, hour. That's a good group. <laughs> um, okay. So Bobby, on the podcast when you were talking about this, our, our podcast, uh, the Casual Hour, that comes out every every Wednesday. And you yes. Can follow that on at, on Twitch. Um, you were yeah. talking about this game. I, I brought up the comparison to NBA Street yeah. because you said you earned those characters. Like you beat them in a tournament yep. and then they get added to your group of players. The Is that right? The first four characters you have, so left to right, you have those four characters when you start, but everybody else you have unlocked. Uh, some were boss battles. Some were just uh, random events that show up here. Uh, on, on, so like Don Poppas was there and he's like you can't beat me at golf you can't and then beat you beat me. him at golf and he's like well okay then I guess I should play with you um, so we're, I'm going to run through these are super quick by the way uh, okay. we're going to run through like maybe one or two of these I want to sure. do this one this is going to be a costume because it has that hanger on there it makes sense and uh, what do you think her second costume oh well there it is there it is <laughs> um <laughs> Beneath the event here, so this is going to be a match play. Sometimes it's going to be longest drive. Sometimes it's going to be closest to the pin. This is just a match play. Uh, beneath it, you have all of the uh, contingencies that you have against you in this. If you want to know what those look like, these are the breakouts of what you might be seeing. So sometimes okay. the cup's bigger. Sometimes it's normal, smaller. Sometimes they mirror the courses. This is what our weather is today. And when you go next, can you, do you have a caddy? Like she had a caddy. Yeah. Here, so there's two caddies you can choose from right now. I haven't unlocked any more of them, but you can choose which caddy is with with which people. I have the same caddy. Uh, she's really great. I can't remember what her name is though. Okay. Um. So this is. Does she also get outfits and stuff too? Not that I've seen. Not that oh, I've seen. Okay. Um. This is where you pick your team. It's going to tell you how they perform in the rough, in the rain, like where they're best at. Mm. I love love a woman who can play in the rough. Yes, yes. I always go with this auto. It does a really great job of getting the team, the right team put together. I don't know. It says it's a clear day, and Don Pappas is there like, I can play in the rain. You call me Don Pappas. Uh, oh, that's your caddy. Oh, she looks cool. Yeah, she's really cool. Can she play? Can like can I, maybe? Can you earn her as a playable golfer? Oh, uh, she's she's nice. She's encouraging. She is. So, um... <laughs> 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 man, the new Avengers movie looks great. This is the Revengers. Oh. God. So you play you play these as a team too. Yep. Does your opponent also have a team? No, you're just playing as your opponent okay. on every one of these. Okay. So, just if you've played a golf game at all, all the things that you would would want to be here um, are here. So you can map your shot out with precision. You're going to see sure. upper right that we have an incline up 22, and we have wind coming behind us. Uh, we are able to club down uh, we are using our current uh our strongest club right now but you can't go down mm -hmm. it lets you know hey you do really good when you're in the rough um over on the left shows you how many pars and what which one of those you're currently on and what your, your score is overall um if we come back out of this so when it says that somebody's good in the rough or like your your uh, uh what do we say the uh the mike Ozowski girl uh she was good in the bunker oh i love how the people oh that was so good 
Oh yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out of my way. Oh, that's great. Um, but it said that woman was good in the bunker. Yep. Does that mean she plays better in the bunker, or she plays better at the bunker than anyone else does? She is better in the bunker than... She plays better when she's in the bunker, not better than other people. Really? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Like, and, So the bunkers are almost not a penalty now for if that. you have the right golfer. Correct. So I could hit them in the rough, and I wouldn't have that here. Um, it is touch control, but I'm using the controller, so it uses the thumbstick on a controller but it also uses, you just slide back. Uh, I was reading a Polygon article and they said that they prefer to play on touch because they have more control. So you can pull back and hold as long as you want to. Um, as I start to pull back, you can see where I'm at on the on the, the chart there. If I go, uh -huh. that's 100%, but you can actually do a hard hit and go beyond it. If I come down here to the side- Love to go beyond 100%. Um, this is how you're going to shape your shot. If I okay, use- Okay, so that's like a slice or a draw. Yep, so I'm going to hold this here for a second. If I use my left thumbstick, you see how I'm using that meter on the left now? I'm adding top spin or I'm using uh, bottom spin here on, on okay. this here. So I can I can control that before I hit. Um, so I, Are you able to switch your golfer or are they in a set order now and, and every time you hit the ball is a new person? So this entire hole this par four is going to be with the same golfer. And then the next hole will be a different oh, golfer. Oh, okay. So I'm locked into this character right now. Got it. So let's uh let's go ahead and hit this off here and see how we do. Um, up 22. Yeah. Tee off. Tee off on this one. Nice shot. Oh. That seems like a real dork. He is very much a real dork. I had a lot of pleasure in beating him. <laughs> <laughs> wow this is pretty good though uh i like this a little yeah over. this is fun <laughs> yeah so she's in her new outfit um and it might not take all six rounds to 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 beat her especially if we very stick nice. to it very nice very nice okay yeah her, her caddy her caddy seems rad yeah like i like our caddy too but her caddy also seems great now, Chase, this does offer local multiplayer, which I think is really cool. I wish it had online multiplayer. Nice shot. Um, but maybe if we all get together now that, you know, that's happening again, we can we can play a little sure. bit of this. Since I think you said you downloaded she it, right? She killed her caddy there. She, she did. I did. I did download it, yes. I currently, for now, have Apple Arcade. Uh, bottom left corner, 157 yards to the hole. We are currently mm -hmm. going to be at the pin, the pin, the pin. I believe is. Yes. Uh, we're going up 12. We got a little bit of wind behind us. I I think going up a bit is going to be in our best interest. Up a bit? Mm-hmm. I'm going to club but up. You got, the wind in your, you got the wind in your favor, though. It's not that great. Um, okay. I want to see right. what, hey. what the screen's doing. You're, you're, you're the, the linksman here. Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right, so let me back this up. Now I can see that this is where uh, my my pin is at. I'm still going up 12. I think you were going to overshoot this pin, but, you know, go with God. I will do so. You did put backspin on the ball. I'll give you that. So maybe, maybe you'll be fine. How All about right. that? All right. <laughs> um... I improved wrong. <laughs> so, also, I don't know if we'll see it with this playthrough, um, but the favorite club thing's really cool, too, because there is a horizontal penalty if you slice it. But if you're using your favorite club, you no longer have that penalty, which is really helpful. Mm. Especially is anybody's you... favorite club a putter? Not that I've encountered. Okay. Uh, so this is somewhat aggressive, not terrible. We're going to move over just a little bit. Do you find yourself using a club out of position because it's somebody's favorite club and adjusting it on the back end? I have. Okay. Um, Great. So Very nice. the reason I've done that is there was one time where I was chipping into the green, like this from the fringe, mm -hmm. and it's like, this person's favorite club is a driver. So I used to drive her to chip in. <laughs> okay, that, that 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 is a little surprising. I would have gone with like an iron over a sandwich or something. Oh, yeah. But sure. yeah, sure. 
you can do that yeah and so it's like <laughs> barely like, it's like you have you can move like a fraction or you're just gonna pelt this thing so bunkers and uh an eight iron this woman has a strong stance <laughs> she is definitely uh going for it so, she's got a low center of gravity on her got wind a little bit stronger than the last hole coming in from the left uh, literally 0.1 meter yeah. of wind more i like let's not let's not say a lot more um 45 going down what's her favorite club uh eight iron okay i so, guess that makes sense if she's a bunker pro yeah um, all right let me just get this a little bit more positioned here see what happens Bobby, do you play much uh much golf in real life i don't um i i love golf i my grandmother lived on a golf course um she was an avid golfer i would go out with her i i'm sure if i really committed the time and energy and money to it i i would have a lot of fulfillment from it but i i do like golf a whole lot i just don't play it Right. I mean, it is a it is a sport that uh, can be uh, very gatekeeping in yeah. terms of especially money, but yep. then you know, obviously other other issues as well. Historically, yeah. Um, yeah, I I also like golf. I'm not very good at it. Uh, I think that comes from me playing baseball a lot, sure. and those skills don't necessarily transfer over, although they. Feel like they kind of do, and to the point that I'm sure I've made some real bad habits. But uh, I like I like the idea of golf probably more than playing it myself, which is which is why I like golf video games quite a bit. Yeah, golf video games are you know we did a long time ago on the show we did a guilty pleasure episode, and mm -hmm. I talk about golf games being like a guilty pleasure, which they're really not. But it's just one of those things that if you look at my my library of games. It's weird to see all these golf games that I love so much, but I just yeah. absolutely love them. There is an there is an execution to golf games that feels real good compared to real golf, which is filled with you know variables that that other sports games I feel have nailed as much, or or they're not trying to nail. I feel like baseball video games and basketball video games are are purposefully built with randomness kind of in there right. where a golf game doesn't um on one of our previous quick looks you talked about a, the, the game that we were checking out which was our subnautica quick look that this would be a good podcast game i think golf games are the best podcast games sure yeah that makes total sense um so chase how, how are you feeling about like the style of the game it's a little bit more arcade than sim do you like that out of a golf game what do you look for yes yeah, so i ab i absolutely prefer arcade golf games to simulations i'm i'm not here for a pga tour or tiger woods or any of that uh, i i am uh, all about golf story i'm all about uh mario golf specifically the game boy color one uh the n64 one is also quite good uh, i'm looking forward to this new mario golf coming to put uh here in a bit yeah, when we're recording this, um, so I, I definitely like those those games more on uh, on that spectrum. I I can go either way. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this nice. art, very arcade version, but I will play a sim golf game and and find a lot of joy there as well. You know, I also really liked Wii Sports Golf. I, yeah. I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Uh, so we are using a favorite club here. Not to, to cut you off there, I just wanted to point it out. You'll yeah, notice the glow. Fire. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the uh, singing. She has a, a really nice Don, Don Pappas loves <laughs> the pitching wedge. He loves the pitching wedge. Okay. Love me... to pitch. Love to wedge. <laughs> uh, how are we feeling here? I think I'm going to add just a slight, slight actual backspin to it. A little bit of backspin. And let's come in like so. Ah, I love I love the cash in the back oh, pocket. Oh yes! Ooh. Yes! The mamas <laughs> and the papas right there. Eagle, baby! Eagle! Hell Eagle for the dime! Yes! Oh yeah, you better call that game. It's over. Oh my god. I 
don't know how I can top that. Wow. Yeah. Dominated. Little little Red Riding Hood just got devoured by the wolf of Tapas. So this is a cool thing to note. Anytime you unlock uh, a color variation or a costume, you see the 23 that's flashing now? Mm -hmm. Their overall level goes up when you unlock more of their costumes. Oh, okay. So not only did we that's get nice her new costume, addition. but she can also go up to level 23 now. Do, so do these golfers have multiple costumes, or is it just like a one alternate costume? And a so far, costume? I've just seen one alternate, but I've seen a handful of color variants as well. Okay. And it will automatically put that costume on them. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. This is this is a costume for the Sarah Silverman, not for Noel. Uh, Hermione. I thought it was going to be the Hermione. Uh -uh. Yeah, the Noel. Sorry, I I don't know their real names other than Don Pappas. Don Pappas. Oh uh, yeah. So Priscilla Sue. Okay. All right. Um, Chase. I look. I think that that's a pretty. I I don't know if I can beat an eagle man. Well, certainly not. Yeah, we might as well quit golf forever. Uh, really. Really quick, just to show you this, uh, you you earn stars to progress your, your rank up, and you can see how many stars you'll get for each activity. And then that goes to your total world level. When you get to a certain point, uh, a boss will emerge at 60, maybe a little bit before, and uh, that's when you'll pop up. There's a lot more that we have not unlocked yet on this map. It's very big. Uh, Is this only on Apple Arcade? Uh, I think so. I don't know if it's on console or not. I, I imagine it'll show up there. It's definitely only on mobiles on Apple Arcade. But uh, this was a hidden gem, man. This this came out uh, the same time that wait, Fantasian did. So wait, so this, so I couldn't, I couldn't play this on my PC. I can, or not PC, obviously, but I couldn't play this on my MacBook. Yeah, like it's it's yeah. mobile only. No, no. Oh, oh it, it, it it can work. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So this quick looks being done on an iPad. Uh, but I have it on my, my MacBook Pro, and I have it on my iPhone as well. And, that... and since this is Apple Arcade, you know, there's no in-game... Uh, no. no. No DLC you, stuff, you no microtransactions. You can't pay for new costumes or anything like that. It's This is yeah. it. The, the game is here completely. That's that's cool. Yeah, man. I really like this game, Chase. I think it's, it's really good at what it does, and I'm having a ton of fun Welcome playing back. this on mobile. Um, that's good. It's a good do game. You, do you think you're going to keep playing this game once that Mario game comes out? Uh, Mario Golf game? Um, maybe if I'm somewhere with my phone, because uh, that was a very long version of one of these. But if yeah. I go back to the tour, Take care. Um, like this one over here, I think was only three holes. Yeah, three holes right here. Yeah. So I could grab that in no time. And I've, th okay. I... I took a lot longer talking through it with you than I normally would. Sure, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I can fly through these and pick it up and put it down. Like it's it's so good, man, for that. And that's that's Very cool. that's clap hands golf. Uh, hey, if you dig what we're doing here, we talk about these games every week uh, with our other co-host on the Casual Hour, Johnny. Uh, Chase mentioned we record on Wednesday nights. You can follow us at twitch.tv slash the Casual Hour. Uh, we also have a lot of other quick looks on, on our YouTube channel, so if you can give us a like and subscribe there, you'll you'll be sure to get reminded when we have new stuff that goes up. Uh, I mentioned the Subnautica one earlier. We, we've recorded that recently, and we typically do you know new and old games when it comes to these quick looks. It's a chance for uh, us to hang out, play through some stuff, and show some new things to each other. Uh, we also stream Monday nights and Friday nights, and that's usually more more new stuff. Chase and I do a series called Casual Mondays. So you can follow along Monday nights at 1030. Um, but that's that's going to do it for us here at the Casual Hour for this quick look. We'll be back with some more. Chase, as always, thank you. It's a great pleasure. Uh, maybe you and I can play some clap hands golf sometime here soon when we get to get hang out again. Yeah, thanks for showing this to me. Uh, I had downloaded this before, but I think I'm definitely going to going to give it a shot uh, after we're done with it. Maybe give it a hot shot. It's golf. Mm, no, I don't think so. All right. Take care.